Mercedes had an absolute roller coaster of a season in 2022, so it's going to be a lot of fun watching this compilation of every joke that I wrote about them to see where they're at in terms of their performance for each race. The jokes that I wrote definitely reflect it, and I hope you enjoy them. Russell's race was a real beauty, getting third in that Mercedes beater he has to drive. Hammy had his kitchen a twist, screaming Jesus Murphy, because he got the It's James call to finish behind Georgie Boy. Toto Wolf has been given the Honorary Canadian Award for his apology over the radio to Hamilton. We know a good apology when we see one. This confirmed Hamilton is in the fall season of his career, and we'll see if he makes like a snowbird and leaves Mercedes this winter. Hamilton was screaming Jesus Murphy again, but this time his gotch was being twisted by Max's barn burner of a race, which saw him able to face wash Lewis. And no matter how sick a flow Lewis has, it can't hide the fact that George is lighting the lamp and Lewis isn't. In equal machinery. Nico Rosberg, despite the fact that he hasn't raced since 2016, was chirping Lewis the whole time thanks to his new commentary gig. Keep it up, Rosberg. And Russell was a fucking beautician today with that safety car pit stop. He also kept trying to big time Lewis. Nice moves, big shoots. Mercedes finally got their shit together and things were looking good for the goat, but K-Mag backdoored him and Lewis showed his 10 ply when he got on the radio to be a full on poopy pants, acting more traumatized than when he saw that King Cobra coil left in the washroom last year. Beauty school instructor Russell big leagued everyone once again, pulling off a bar down podium, not to mention some impressive D with those back checks against Max, whose op shop DRS flap was also pulling for Russell. Lewis lit the lamp with fastest laps once he finally decided to just scoot in. He was ripping one hell of a recovery drive right up until the end when the Mercedes boat anchor engine got the scoots and he had to give up fourth to Bussy Boy. George Russell was all smiles today as he maintained his lead in the standings over both the GOAT and the second Ferrari in equal or worse machinery. No joke here, I just have to simp for a Brit if you want to get views in the F1 space. Please like and subscribe. Lewis's 37-year-old back was clearly in pain as he got out of his Mercedes. Total Wolf apologized to Hamilton after the race, saying, The car is a shitbox. Meanwhile, George Russell took yet another podium in a shitbox. Speaking of equal machinery, it came out this week that Nico Rosberg is not allowed on the paddock due to not being vaccinated. Rosberg claims it's because he has monster antibodies, but we all know it's because he beat COVID once, then retired before COVID had a chance to beat him with equal vaccinery. Lewis Hamilton was clearly feeling like a champion again as he spent the whole race complaining on the radio despite the fact that he was one of the quickest cars out there. Now, for all you British viewers, it's that time of the week where we gargle George's balls for a bit. Mr. Consistency is now only 15 points, or one DNF, behind Leclerc in the World Drivers' Championship in vastly inferior machinery. This isn't as impressive for George as it is embarrassing for Ferrari, though. Lewis Hamilton was up there on the podium again today, which left many Brits asking the question, is Mercedes back in the title fight? No, the answer to that question is still no. A horrific accident in the first corner caused a red flag, taking multiple cars out of the race. After the race, Lewis was quoted as saying, I knew Joe would be okay. After what I did to Max last year, I'm not convinced it's even possible for a driver to die on this track. George Russell finally broke his top five finishing streak after getting out of his car like an idiot because he cares about human life more than scoring points. Absolute disgrace, am I right? Lewis is officially out of contention for the World Drivers' Championship as he confirmed over the radio that his tires were good, something a WDC contender would never do. Since he's no longer fighting for the ship, Lewis has been able to enjoy F1 from the fans' perspective. As he mentioned in the post-race press conference, he was so far behind he was watching the leaders on TV. George Russell earned a five-second penalty today for his collision with Sergio Perez. When asked about the incident, George Russell said, I couldn't help it. It's just natural for Mercedes' lead driver to pit maneuver Red Bull's second driver. Mercedes got a double podium thanks to my boy Latifi who was donking around and ended up taking K-Mag with him. But the thing we're all going to be feeding the ducks to later is Alonso's incredibly strong finish. And speaking of incredibly strong finishes, your mom still owes me for the seat cover she ruined when I went down on her in the parking lot behind the 24-hour sals. The amount of blood in erections this weekend remained net neutral as all the limp dicks at Ferrari were evened out by Mercedes' double podium. George Russell shocked everyone by taking the first pole position of his career this weekend, causing many to say Mr. Saturday is back. As it turns out, Mr. Saturday truly is back, as on Sunday, he only finished third, finishing even behind his teammate, who only managed to qualify seventh. Hamilton had a great race, finishing second on Sunday, despite a weak qualifying effort that was caused by a DRS failure. Upon seeing a Verham Russ podium, 
Fans sat in stunned silence, realizing that despite the new rags, nothing had changed at all. Lewis Hamilton closed the door on Alonso from the outside and paid the price with a lap 1 DNF. After the incident, Lewis was humble and apologetic, taking responsibility for the incident. Alonso had this to say. Yeah, what an idiot! Closing the door from the outside. I mean, we had a mega start, but yeah, this guy only knows how to drive the starting first. Lewis Hamilton's outfit drew a lot of criticism this weekend, especially for the weird headpiece. As it turns out, he was just getting in character so he could be ready to drive like a clown. It was a Max win, science pain, and Lewis flying too close to the sun in Zandvoort today. Welcome to Race Weekend Update for the 2022 Dutch Formula One Grand Prix. My name is Stacy Hewen, and let's get right into it. The most surprising and unexpected moment that nobody expected happened near the end of the race this weekend. Let's listen. No, unbelievable. I think, I mean, I'm flat out rooting for Lewis here. I just hope he can keep Verstappen behind. That would be so damn awesome. But that medium tire is going to be so cold. It's going to be so hard. But if one person can do it, it's Lewis. Now that Rosberg has admitted to rooting for Hamilton, experts are advising to watch out for flying pigs and are currently checking to see if hell has frozen over. Lewis Hamilton was looking like he was going to take his first win of 2022 today until a rather suspectly timed safety car was caused by Red Bull's second team driver, Yuki Tsunoda. I have been informed that I have no opinion on this subject and nothing can be proven. Max Verstappen passed Lewis Hamilton instantly after the safety car ended and there was absolutely nothing wrong with that according to everyone asked on the post-race show, which begs the question, what does Helmut Marco have on De Vries, Palmer, and Buxton? After Mercedes let George Pitt for softs, Lewis Hamilton was furious on the radio. The underlying sentiments of his messages were, Why can't we use George the way we use Bottas? Honestly, I found myself getting lulled into a bit of a sleepy state here because it just seemed like the same old, same old. Every time I woke up to see if anything had changed, nope, still Max in the lead, but then one time, oh, what the hell happened here? Fucking Lewis is out in front with George behind him and there was a little bit of excitement for a few laps, but then no. Mercedes dropped the ball and some dirty dangles from Max on that safety car restart ended up with Lewis dropping back and... We're right back to watching Red Bull dominate with Max once again. Mr. Consistency was once again on the podium today, putting him just 7 points behind 3rd place Perez and only 16 points behind 2nd place Leclerc. Given that he is now 35 points ahead of his teammate Lewis Hamilton, you'd think that would be enough to earn him some praise from Toto Wolff. Unfortunately, Hamilton just pulled a 19th to 5th drive today and Toto Wolff's mouth was too full of Lewis Hamilton's cock for him to say anything positive about George. Mercedes customer teams McLaren and Aston Martin were a bit miffed today as both Sebastian Vettel and Daniel Ricciardo experienced engine failures. These problems happened and could not have been avoided, Mercedes said, hoping that nobody would notice that neither of their own cars have had similar issues this season. Everybody teases Ferrari fans, but nobody hates them because they're always getting hurt by their own team. Further to that, they don't seem to be spewing the same kind of verbal diarrhea that Red Bull and Mercedes fans are constantly shitting out of their mouths. Look in the comment sections of these videos. Whenever Max or Lewis comes up, there's so much chinwagging in the comments section, it's honestly embarrassing. Mr. Consistency finished outside the top 5 today for the first time this season, but that doesn't mean he doesn't deserve his nickname. He is still consistently whining on the radio. Spending like it's a race of his life. Crikey. Crikey. As it turns out, George Russell is the kind of guy to congratulate George Russell for the overtake he made on Yuki Tsunoda. That was a nice move if he says so himself. <laughs> Mr. Collisioncy George Russell was once again playing bumper cars, reminding us why the Brits call science car loss. In his own words, Lewis was so close yet so far, ultimately coming second. Unlike me. Ask any of my former partners. I never finished second. Max Verstappen was Max Verklappen dominating the race from very early on. In true world champion form, he made sure to complain on the radio at least once during the race. Not to be outdone, Lewis Hamilton whipped out his seven-time world champion attitude and spent the entire race complaining on the radio. George Russell did an AMA, or Ask Me Anything, this weekend and drew heavy criticism for avoiding tough questions such as, why do you blame others for your mistakes? But I, for one, am more disappointed that he ignored my softball question.
Jorpedo failed to deliver this weekend by driving a clean lap one and not putting anyone into the boards. Mercedes was finally looking strong, finishing first and second in the race. Fans were relieved to see them challenging Red Bull as Ferrari has proven they're not capable of mounting a title fight, even if their car is. Lewis Hamilton was made a Brazilian citizen this week, but what he wasn't made was a race winner in 2022. Despite that, Lewis Hamilton's stock has never been higher thanks to Max's little hissy fit on the radio. While Jorpedo was a frickin' rocket today, leading most of the race and taking it from pole to victory, but the real hero was Lewis. Lewis got frickin' body checked by Max, who was having a race-long tantrum and still managed to finish second behind his teammate. I have to hand it to Toto. He's pulled out all the stops to get his team back on track, even going so far as to get Lewis Brazilian citizenship just so that he could have that home race advantage. Mercedes is back up at the front and we should all be grateful. Ferrari is a gong show and Red Bull has Joffrey Baratheon as their lead driver. Floor damage early, hydraulic issues near the end and no win in sight. If Lewis Hamilton's season could be summed up in a single race, it would be this one. Mercedes delivered Nick DeVries to Alpha Tauri following the race in a fun little bit of hijinks. Now all Nick has to do is get into the same room as Max, bite down onto a fake tooth to release the poison gas within it, and exhale it onto him. Oh god. And that pretty much summarizes what the race was like. Hamilton and Alonso shit there depends. Paris crapped the bed, and Vettel's strategy was dog shit. All the old guys had races that ended up shittier than my Calvin's. Total Wolf criticized Gunter Steiner for his treatment of Mick Schumacher, saying, He comes from the mountains, the air is thinner up there, so it's difficult to think clearly. Which I think is some weird European version of racism? This week, I've decided we're going to do three spicy memes of the week. So here are the other two. We've got by W13 Won't Miss Ya by RX Envier, and Still a Great Driver Though by For Real For Real No Cap Bus in 33, both in Formula Dank. The first one is Lewis Hamilton throwing the W13 out to sea, and the second one is shocked Pikachu with the text, when people find out Checo is not a once in a generation talent. It's been a hell of a season, so please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to continue making videos during the off season. And also thank you to my patrons. Check out patreon.com fiends so that you can support the channel and get more from fiends where the F1 never ends.